Why are heart attacks most common in the early morning? Why do humans usually run faster in the late afternoon? Why are heartburn symptoms so bad in the evening? Why is your blood glucose level higher after eating the same meal at night versus in the morning? Why are shift workers more likely to develop type 2 diabetes? Hi, I'm Dr. Maria Conley, and today we're going to talk about how your master circadian clock located in the suprachiasmatic nucleus, or SCN, of your hypothalamus coordinates all other clocks in your body to produce a predictable daily rhythm and hormone levels, body temperature, and body functions. Your body is synchronized with a 24-hour day-night cycle via messages from the SCN master clock. These messages can travel through nerves or through the bloodstream as hormones. Peripheral clocks are present in many organs of the body, including the pancreas, liver, skeletal muscle, and adipose tissue. Today, we're going to focus on how your SCN master clock in your brain regulates melatonin and cortisol levels in your blood. We'll also see how your suprachiasmatic nuclei control fluctuations in your core body temperature and glucose tolerance levels throughout the 24-hour circadian cycle. One of the key ways that the SCN regulates your sleep-wake cycle is through the release of melatonin from the pineal gland, also in your brain. The SCN receives nerve signals from the back of your eye or retina when light hits it. The SCN then relays these signals to another part of the hypothalamus called the paraventricular nucleus, or PVN. From here, nerve signals travel through your spinal cord and superior cervical ganglion and then back up to the pineal gland located in your brain. If the pineal gland receives the correct signal, it releases the hormone melatonin into your bloodstream. Since melatonin is only released at night in both diurnal and nocturnal animals, it functions as another way to entrain your body to the circadian rhythm. Your SCN master clock also regulates your core body temperature in a predictable way every 24 hours. It does this by sending nerve signals to other parts of the hypothalamus, including the median preoptic area and the arcuate nucleus. These different parts of the hypothalamus can alter your body temperature by triggering vasoconstriction, sweating, or shivering. Your body temperature is highest in the late afternoon and evening. This helps your muscles work more efficiently, which is one reason why humans tend to run faster in late afternoon. Your SCN master clock also regulates the release of the stress hormone cortisol from your adrenal glands. Based on information about ambient light from the retina, the SCN can send direct nerve signals to the adrenal glands to modulate cortisol release. The SCN can also activate the release of cortisol via hormones in the blood. In diurnal animals like humans, cortisol release is greatest in the morning when waking up. This is one reason why heart attacks are most common between 8 and 10 in the morning. It's just the opposite in nocturnal animals. Stress hormone release peaks when night begins. Your SCN master clock also synchronizes your metabolism to the day-night cycle via the autonomic nervous system. The SCN is located in the hypothalamus of your brain. Recall that the hypothalamus regulates many of the key processes in your body, including feeding, metabolism, digestion, regulation of body temperature, to name a few. The SCN sends nerve signals via the parasympathetic nerve fibers to gastric vagal mechanoreceptors in your stomach to affect the amount of acid that is secreted into the stomach. Your gastric acid secretion is typically highest in the late evening, which explains why heartburn symptoms can be worse at night, especially after eating a late meal. In addition, your stomach empties more slowly 
after eating in the evening versus in the morning. If your stomach is releasing a lot of acid up into the esophagus and the food is not moving slowly, very is not moving very quickly through your stomach, you're more likely to experience heartburn. Why does glucose tolerance decrease in the evening? All the metabolic pathways regulating glucose are under circadian control, either directly or indirectly. Ideally, your SCN master clock would be synchronized with all the peripheral clocks in your body, such as the liver clock. Over the past thousand years, the human body has evolved to consume food during the day and to rest at night. In this scenario, your master SCN clock is in synchrony with your peripheral clocks. This explains why glucose consumed in the morning is taken up more efficiently by muscle than it would be during a late night meal. If you habitually eat at night when your master SCN clock has prepared you for sleep, your body will not metabolize glucose as well and you're more likely to develop diabetes. It's helpful to be aware of the predictable 24-hour fluctuations in your body's temperature, hormone production, and metabolic function. This is particularly important in regards to your metabolic health. By feeding during the day, it is easier for your master SCN clock in your brain to synchronize with all the other peripheral clocks in your body, particularly those in your liver and gastrointestinal tract. Central clock mechanisms control when insulin is secreted from the pancreas. However, peripheral clocks can run on their own rhythms and these clocks control how sensitive your body is to insulin. When you force your body to be at, at night and habitually feed during the nocturnal period, your master circadian clock will no longer be in synchrony with your peripheral clocks and your metabolic health suffers. Thank you for listening. I hope this is helpful for you.